So if you can see from the side, my wrist is really like, you know, so I'm using the rebound. I'm not like, I'm not doing that and letting this, the, the shock absorb into my wrist because that's harmful. So, so when I, when I hit the pad, the stick goes back, right? Uh, you hit the pad. If you're up here, you go down and the stick goes back and it, it rebounds. So it basically does that. So you're just following the stick. So you, you hit the, you hit strike and then you go back because that's where the stick wants to go. So that's what you're doing. So you're playing very slow like this. So we'll just do a few. I don't know how many of you um, have a, a practice pad or drumsticks in front of you. I'll just do this a couple times, but just really working on playing very slowly. And this is the kind of stuff that um, really can make you sound really good. Because you're working, if you move properly, if you move in a relaxed, I think I was five, I'm not counting while I talk, but uh, if you move in a relaxed manner, you're gonna sound relaxed. If you move in a fluid manner, you're gonna sound fluid. So that's how we wanna sound. We want our ideas to be clear. Whether if we're playing uh, jazz or rock or heavy metal or Cuban drumming, anything, you want it to sound really clear. You wanna hit the middle of the drum, you wanna have a nice sound. So this is the kind of stuff that will help you a lot. The reason why is because, you know, if we don't, if we're not moving properly around the drums, it's gonna sound, you know, like the whole thing I was saying before, the robot arms will sound tense, our drum fills won't be clean, and it'll just sound, it's like if I was talking and like part of mumbling, you know, it's like, you, you don't, we don't, we don't want to mumble when we speak because otherwise you won't, we won't understand each other. So it's the same kind of thing when we drum, we don't want to mumble, we want to, we want to speak clearly. And that's, that's a lot of um, the difference between a, a good drummer and a great drummer or like a world class drummer is that the, the great drummers, the good drummers can have like good time, good, they have good ideas, but they're not speaking clearly. So the really, really great drummers, like, um, you know, well, I, in any genre, I was going to start going into like kind of the rock thing, but um, like John Bonham, you know, from Led Zeppelin, he just sounded so good, so good. And when you watch him, he's so relaxed when he plays and his, his mechanics are really good. He's moving with the stick, so he's not playing rigidly. So he sounds really good, you know, that's the, the movement creates the sound.